You'd imagine a guy like that's grinding and doing everything he can to level set and get back to where he was. And even if it's getting back to where he was means making huge changes and just being more productive is what I'm saying. But it's I would imagine it's got to be a great feeling to know, hey, you know, you have a place to play. You, he's coming in as the everyday center fielder. If he's healthy and things go the way it's planned to play 150 plus games, to be a productive, contributing, middle of the order bat. And so to have that opportunity after coming through like drastic turmoil the last two years where like he probably thought he was going to be one of these guys in LA forever and that he was going to get a big deal. And, you know, you're going to be built around and all this stuff. And then to see the team win the World Series and then you kind of, you know, you kind of get phased out of plans. And, you know, whether he played himself there or, you know, obviously, but I mean, whatever the reason, underlying reason is that he played himself into this position. Now it's a bounce back. You get to come back. You got Scott Boris behind you and all those fucking resources in the media this past year that were pumping you up and, like, we're getting you that one-year deal. We're getting your strength back. Now, if that stuff matters, it matters. But he's getting the whole fucking suite of subjective things here. He's getting everybody's support. And from what everybody's saying in Chicago and the responses is predominantly positive. So I don't know if there's a better circumstance to bounce back is what I'm saying.